Hey guys, today I have a speculation video for you. You can probably tell just from the title. Now, this is because a lot of information is going around the Nintendo Switch Pro having like, you know, these special chips that they need, the same things that the graphics cards need to kind of give them a way to basically play 4K on uh, in docked mode, which is actually amazing. That's going to be really cool. Definitely want to get a, get a Switch Pro as soon as I can if they, if they do release towards the end of the year that a lot of people are guessing. But man, we I, I've been through this, this, this rodeo a few times now Nintendo Switch Pro is coming out this this month next month you know like everybody thinks it's coming out soon I kind of think it would be very likely for the end of a year so if not the end of this year definitely the end of next year I say definitely like like it's a, like it's a given but that that's, that's just me hoping that's definitely in the back of my head I'm like it, 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 it has to it has to come out next year at least at latest why haven't we had Zelda Breath of the Wild 2? Like, we saw a trailer on it very long ago. Like, there was one trailer, and then boom, nothing for, for a very long time. No news. It's almost like the game just disappeared, right? Now, now, now stick with me here. Do you think maybe the new Nintendo Switch Pro is going to release with Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 exclusively? Like, what is the best way for them to sell a Switch Pro when people already have a Switch? make Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 exclusive to the Switch Pro, right? Like, th that would that would make sense, logically, if you think. If you want everybody to buy the upgraded version of a Switch, you're going to want to sell it with a very, very popular game that everybody on Nintendo has been waiting for for a very long time. And also, since the first, the first Nintendo Switch came out with Zelda Breath of the Wild, who's to say they're not going to repeat that successful cycle because they saw how successful it was and the growth that Nintendo Switch had just because of their launch and just, you know, the platform itself and, and everything. I really think they're going to copy what they did last time and they're going to go Nintendo Switch Pro released with Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 as the flagship game to carry the Nintendo Switch Pro. The only part that I'm skeptical about is whether Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 will be exclusive to the Switch Pro or if it will be playable by people who have a regular Nintendo Switch. That that's the only part I'm not just like thinking. If they want the money, like and they're going to like really incentivize people buying a Switch Pro, the best way to do it is make Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 exclusive to the Switch Pro. Otherwise, uh, people are going to be like, "No man, it's, it's okay. It'll be nice to upgrade someday, but you know, I'm going to just keep playing this." It's like having an updated PlayStation or a PlayStation 4, but it can play PlayStation 5 games. Why why do you need a PlayStation 5 then? You know, if, if you're not so picky on like graphics and, and hardware and stuff, you you can get by with a PlayStation 4, but you know, most people are going to be like, "I want those PlayStation 5 games," you know. So, I I, I wonder what they're going to do. I, it, it's this is all speculation, of course. Let me know in the comments below what do you guys think. This was just an idea that I like. I came up with, and I was like, "Shit, dude, this 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 could be what's gonna happen." And if it happens at the end of this year, man, I'm calling it right now. Let's see, let's see. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in a future video. Thank you so much for watching.